And uh, the last time I checked, we had a breakaway. There we are with the breakaway. Uh, Julie van der Velde, one of the riders. We have Mathilde Vitilio, Ilse Pluimers, Francisca Barrale, Silke Smulders, Nicole Steiginga, who was uh, third last year, and Hanna Ludwig. Those are the names in the breakaway of seven riders. We had a counter-attack when they crossed the finish line, so that was at 32 kilometers from the line from the former Belgian champion, Jesse van der Bulke of the Lecole Wahoo team and the peloton pretty close. Uh, Gap is now at 32 seconds and we see a little bit of increase in pace there by Julie van der Velde. Um, she was riding in uh, Australia, by the way. Doing yeah, a great job there. Yeah, very, very good. I just saw as well that it looked like Eleanor King had a bit of an issue there. She was stuck in the biggest gear um, at, at that point and just drifting back through the pelotons. Mechanical for, for uh, Ellie King. Uh, I think pressure is on in the peloton to to chase these riders down now. Um, and but they've also I think since since they shedded those two riders, it it looks like they've become a bit more. You know, there's there's a bit more cohesion. Um, and and seem to be working harder together. Plymouth uh, really seems to be struggling here. Getting some help there from uh, Matilde Vitilio. Communication there with uh, the sports director, which is uh, Julien Dorup in the car. Uh, look, 35 I, I... seconds, eight uh, kilometers. It's, uh, it's going to be really, really interesting, especially what DSM are going to do. You can see that Francesca Barale is doing nothing anymore in this, in this group um, at the front, doing the work. Uh, but you can see that the other teams who have a rider in that breakaway, like Team DSM, um, are completely disturbing the chase there. They are not getting involved. You know X are there, not getting involved in the chase. They're putting everything on the shoulders there of the team from, um, from Great Britain. Looks like a mechanical, yeah, yeah, mechanical, to be honest. Uh, in that young rider, that 19-year-old rider, um, to... Uh, to pull it off here to uh, to finish off the job because the team are not committing to the chase and like i said one team only are doing the work and that is the call wahoo uh, a lot of riders are getting dropped now in these final three kilometers of bash shima bash just a handful of seconds there for our group with julie van der velde francesca barale hanna ludwig silke smulders and nicole steiginga and uh, it's uh, the team of Uno you know X doing the work for um, their rider from, um, from Finland, Anina Artosalo, the uh, Finnish champion. So she is uh, pretty recognizable there in that fantastic jersey that Uno you know X uh, designed for her. Eleanor Barker is there, Anna Dorte Ustland, Amala Lutro, Vilma Olarsson, and Rebecca Kerner. That is the team of Uno you know X. Also moving to the front are AG Insurance Next G. Um, they have uh, Anja Lau possibly as a as a fast sprinter, but uh, yeah, of course, in this peloton, lurking in that European jersey, you can already see that she's in third position at the moment. Is uh, Lorena Vibus on her way to uh, win number 23? Uh, the train is on the rails. We have Francisca Koch leading with uh, Charlotte Cole behind her and Lorena Vibus there in third place. One kilometer to go, Julie van der Velde, Nicole Steiginga, Francesca Barale, Hanna Ludwig and Silke Smulders now caught. And now it's a bunch sprint, or what is left of the bunch actually, because Julie van der Velde, she's just going to power on in that final kilometers, on, these, uh, on the final kilometer, on these cobbles. Look at that, one rider still in front of her in these final few hundred meters of the second edition of Banshee Banj. When is she going to launch her sprint? On her wheel, we find Christina Schweinberger. We have Atosalo there, Sonne Kant as well. She's eyeing up the competition with one final push there from her teammate. She's going to leave it really, really late, Lorena Vives. We have that turn in the final few hundred meters. You don't see the finish line until very, very late, but there it is. This is the story of this season. This is the season of Lorena Vives. There's nobody as fast as her. 23 wins this season. This was number 23 and a nice farewell gift to Team DSM. Absolutely a league of her own, Lorena Vives.
phenomenal turn there. Final, uh, Magnus, take us through it. Yeah, so um, after Sally gets picked up by her teammate there, I, I didn't quite work out who that was that's coming up, um, but they, they're starting to move up and, and getting closer to the front as as well. Frank Kilov um, for Le Col Wahoo and everyone just waiting for Rebus to go and she accelerates just before she gets onto the cobblestones, uh, leaving the, everyone else to try and really pick up some speed once they hit these cobbles and that's so difficult to do. And, once she's got that speed, then um, you know she's untouchable. Uh, Rebus, um, there's just no nothing to do about her. Um, actually, interesting. The best finish for Unix, um, I think, all season. They're parading through town, um, but this is the uh, result. Lorena Rebus, Marie, Mario Lein van het geloof. Anina Tassalo, Christina Schweinberger, Sanne Kant, Anna Dorte Usland, another top uh, 